today's world, surprisingly even doctors, nurses and people related to the medical profession are not spared from falling ill. There are many fields related to the medical profession where a large number of people put in long hours, such as operation theatres, laboratories, many therapy centres and research and test centres. In trying to take care of patients day and night, many in the medical profession almost forget to take care of themselves. Under such circumstances, even the slight slack in proper hygiene can make a doctor or a nurse prone to infections and diseases. They do not eat in time and spend long hours away from home and family. It is for such people that Ayurveda offers some invaluable tips. Namaskar. Welcome to Eternal Health. The topic for today's lecture is Ayurveda for medical professionals. Medical professionals which include doctors, nurses, people working in operation theatres and those people working in hospitals in various departments, for example, anesthesia, radiation. All these people are also exposed to various hazards and Ayurveda is for everyone. For every group of people, Ayurveda has solutions. Ayurveda has wonderful, simple home remedies, simple home activities which they can do anywhere at any time. Maybe the doctor has a big belly or is very, you know, obese. So sometimes you feel like, you know, not comfortable. So the doctors and the medical professionals actually, they have to have a very good health, not only for themselves, but also because they are exposed continuously to various type of infections, for example. Many types of people with infections are coming to the doctors. When the nurses, they are working in operation theater, they are using a lot of chemicals like sterilizing agents. They are also using some kind of instruments which are used in surgery, anesthesia and other chemicals, radiations, x-rays, CT scans, all these people working in these departments are continuously under threat of some kind of health hazards. So it becomes very important for these people to take care of themselves very nicely. But there is hardly anything that is available because when we come out of the hospital, we are again exposed to the same chemical world outside. But in Ayurveda, there is a mention of how one should take care of herself or himself when working in a medical institute or in a hospital. First of all, Ayurveda suggests that these people should try to maintain good immunity in their body. Our immunity is the defense mechanism which fights the disease carrying agent. Now how to increase the immunity? First of all, it is important that each of these individuals who work as medical professionals, they should be aware of their personal constitution. Ayurveda explains that each person is unique in nature and according to their nature, they have to make their own daily routine, they have to make their own diet plan, they have to make their exercise plan and then only they can actually boost up their immunity, they can keep strong and work in a healthy environment and also make other people healthy. In Ayurveda, I always tell my doctor friends a very nice recipe, eat seven pieces of almonds every morning in your breakfast and if you can find amla, that's the best immunity booster recipe. If you can find amla powder, take one teaspoonful of powder every morning. If you cannot find powder, you can find amla in a preserved state which is called amla murabba. You can also take one piece of amla every morning. Or if you are in India somewhere and you can find fresh amla, then the best is to use the fresh amla. You can take two to three pieces of amla every morning, either boil them or just grate them, mix with honey. Amla and almonds are the best combination of immunity boosting formula. Almonds, they work to boost the immune system mainly connected with nervous system. The almonds, they are rich in vitamin C and they are the best agent to actually fight the 
virus and bacteria. So the ancient saint Charaka who actually wrote Charaka Samhita, one of the most authentic books of Ayurveda had this idea about the system of healing. He actually mentioned that healing is a combined effort. So we should try to understand these basic principles of Ayurveda in the process of healing. Also we should try to make sure that we have a strong immunity, we have some kind of diet and lifestyle routine which helps us to maintain a strong mental strength, meditation for example or breathing techniques, oil massage, all these things help us to make a strong body and a strong mind and Ayurveda strongly believes that if we have to heal others as medical professionals we should be healthy ourselves. Only people who are healthy they can make others healthy. If I am sick myself I cannot make other people healthy. So I advise all the medical professionals to take a look into Ayurvedic principles and practice these principles, implement these principles into your life, into your practice, into your profession and I am sure this will give you a wonderful feeling of happiness and also make you strong in mind and in the body. Thank you very much. Namaskar.